In this video, I bring home six guitars that will be for sale that belong to a dear friend of mine named Clay. Clay passed away a couple of years ago, and I am now doing a thing I've done before um, with heaviness of heart, uh, which is I am helping a widow sell a friend's uh, collection of guitars. So in this video, you're gonna meet Mrs. Clark. She was my kindergarten teacher. She is wonderful and bubbly and um, I remember she was so kind to me when I was a kindergartner and it was really cool the first time we met I didn't film because for obvious reasons it felt intrusive um, when someone has died and we're dealing through the logistics of of, um, of selling her her husband's guitar collection it felt deeply personal and so it did feel a little inappropriate to run a camera then so uh, but what you will see in this video is you'll see uh, record keeping and you'll see me going to the house and picking up guitars and uh, then we'll swoop back here at the end and we'll close out some thoughts and I'll show you some of these guitars Sunrise waking my day. You are the moonlight shining my way. This is where I call home. You are the fire warming my night. With you, I stay till the morning light. This is where I call home. This is where I call home. Now, if you come in, he'll just smell your car. Yeah. Yeah, check out the car. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> Who are you? What you got on there? This is, it's called a dead cat. A dead cat? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's it just covers up the microphone. Okay, gotcha. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Happy to be here. Yes, you too. You feel, are you trimmed a little bit more? Yes, I trim my beard. It looks nice. Thank you. Yeah. Have them ready for you. I want to take a picture of them, and I want you to help I me match up. Too, yeah, yeah. I, I want to match them up to uh, the receipt. Oh it. sure. And then I'll put the receipts back sure. in the file, um, just for my own oh, yeah. information. These two I'm going to keep. Okay. So, but even if if I've got okay, this is the the uh, the base and. Yes, Martin, my son wants yeah. to. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. 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 My son wants to learn to play learn to play on this one. Uh, and then my daughter. Yep, this is the SG standard. She wants to keep this one. That's a great one. It's so so pretty. Yeah. And I want to keep one, and I'll show you the one I want to keep yeah. for that purpose, just to fiddle oh, around yeah. with, just out of curiosity to like to learn to learn me to play guitar. Oh, <laughs> you know, just dude. joking. Yeah. But I just, you know, just pull it out sometime and mess around on it, and Absolutely. just just to have it, just yeah. because it was his. And, exactly. Um, but the one I'm gonna keep, I think, is one of the less less valuable ones okay. too, which is also good. Yeah. I, I didn't want to keep one of the ones that was <laughs> a, a real good one. So um, here's my receipts, and here's the okay. And of course, I just I just have this for my own purpose for taking a picture. Mm -hmm. Perfect, that's such a great one. So 
tell me what that was again. 0016. Give me a look inside it and double check. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And it's got a pickup in it too. That means I can plug it in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's an N20. Oh, yeah. That's what I have here. Okay. Yeah, N20. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then... Um, I believe that's the same model as Willie Nelson, or it's a very similar... Ooh. I'm going to yeah. write that here. Yeah, you and Willie. So, we're yeah. just... Uh, yeah, we're just... So, so there's two... There's two receipts. Both are Gibson LG1s, mm -hmm. which that's what this guitar is. Mm -hmm. You just don't know which but one. But this serial number is not that serial number. Okay. So it must have been two guitars. Yeah. Because this one, there's also a, a, a Nagini violin. Yeah, Mo that's in Molly's bedroom. Okay, got it. What's um, that? What's... 500, Yeah, 500, yeah. That, that, was a old, that was an old one, I think. So this price is too low, even in 2006, mm -hmm. for that guitar, mm -hmm. and $1,200. So I think that that's a different guitar. Okay. And this one is... This may be it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to put it there and just take the picture. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, both LG1s. And how, how about, do any of them go, I did those. Uh, I don't see a receipt for this one seven or this 125. Okay. But I put one there. Okay. Okay. But P-Base, Southern Jumbo, two 125s, a Cremona Classical, and then an LG1. Would you like for me to take this twin amplifier? Um, I'm going to hold off on sure. that. That's Boomer, my, my Boomer. dog right here. Oh, do you see a pig out there? I thought I saw one of the pigs. Yeah, the, the dark pig is Charlie. The okay. lighter pig, the white pig is... Uh, I could hear one yeah. when I came out. And, uh, How old are they? How old five the and get? four. Okay. So they're almost, they're like a, a year apart. And Clay, that's them. My 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 friend, uh, she's an artist, and she lives in the apartments, and she's going to JMU Architecture School. She's done a couple of these, oh, several God. of these paintings out there. But anyway, she she painted that for me for Christmas last year. That's so sweet. Yeah. All right, I think I got that one already. I got these. So in this room, it's a '59 LG one. She's keeping this in '20. It's a Cremona Classical. 70, believe I believe it's 70 or 71. P base here, late 60s Southern Jumbo with an adjustable bridge. Two ES 125s. This one is a 1957 with the lift and case. Actually, this one has the lift and case. Okay, yeah, I don't see a receipt okay. for That's fine. the SG. That's fine. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, all of them in here. And so these others that are still there, mm -hmm. they're 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 okay. not here. You don't so see them. okay, yeah. So there's a 335 that I think you said that, somebody has. Yeah, I think my son Martin oh, yeah. has. Yeah, that's the most valuable one. Yeah. Um, and and then this then one, there, another LG one, the triple, the Martin triple O eighteen. Haven't seen that one yet. Um, that's the one in this picture. When we'd go to the beach, we'd have to drive separately because he would pack like four guitars in the back of his. That's so funny. <laughs> it's just like. Is this is this at the beach or is it? We're at a, we're at a beach house. We would get different beach houses with his mom and dad, and, yeah. and our, we'd take our kids and we'd all, we'd go. Uh, and his uh, brother and sister would come, but that was at a beach house. That was okay. we only went to that one one year. It was a little bit smaller for, yeah. for all of us, but anyway, we you know we yeah. go to the beach. Um, the C one, yeah, this is the one that I remember seeing. I don't remember seeing it here. I remember selling it to Clay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's just, it would look very similar to this, okay. but it would have a Gibson-shaped headstock. Okay. Kind of an open book shape. Okay. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. All right. And then there's no there's no receipt for this one either. No. Okay. So I can take I guess I can take these off now. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got yeah. pictures. Yeah. I just pull this one off of. Did I pull it off the? Um, this is the yes. This, off one. this one. Okay. Right. 
And this one, oh, I'm sorry. So this one, yeah, that is, that is this one. Yeah, it's one of these two. So they get, that goes on 55, 57. Yeah. Okay. All right, these guys are all together. I want to just close them, or do you want to, are you still yeah. taking pictures of them? Um, I took some pictures. Uh, I'll take a snap of a couple more pictures and then we'll load them up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. six guitars that came home with me. There's a P bass back here from 71. There's a late 60s Gibson SJ uh, Southern Jumbo over here. There's a classical, a Spanish made classical back here. And then there's three Gibson Sunbursts here from the 50s. Uh, unfortunately, they're not bursts from the 50s. But uh, there's a 59 LG1 that's a really great guitar. And then there's two kind of twin ES-125s. Now this story is more complicated and more wonderful, more beautiful. Um, it, Clay uh, was a huge supporter of the arts and music in the Shenandoah Valley. He owned a couple restaurants. Most notably, he owned a restaurant called uh, Clementine, which is right in downtown Harrisonburg. It is a beautiful place. It is a wonderful music venue, and it's been a really vibrant center of the heart of the creativity, the creative world uh, in Harrisonburg and in the Shenandoah Valley for the last probably 10 or 15 years. If you have a bunch of guitars, particularly if they're expensive guitars, for many reasons, you need to keep better records on them. So keep a Google document or keep a spreadsheet or keep a notebook in your file cabinet or keep a folder wherever you keep important documents that just have basic details of how much you paid for the guitar, what the guitar is, what it looks like, because to people like you and I, we would write, oh, it's a 1991 uh, you know, Gibson 335. But to someone else, they don't know what that is. And some of those guitars, they don't say what models they are. So anyway, the more details, you can say the red one in the brown case uh, with the holes, with the F-shaped holes, that would be helpful to start uh, to help people after you because your stuff doesn't go with you. And when you go, um, 
your memory of those things and where things are and what you paid for things. So anyway, so keep track of what things are, what they look like, what you paid for them, what you think they're worth. And also you should, and I know we just did our will, um, you can designate who is responsible to help and you can put some compensation in there. Um, so anyway, so that's a wrap for this video. The main takeaways are that we all need to take better care and better notes of what guitars we own so that when we are gone, we'll, we'll leave a more clear um, understanding and information of what the guitars are, what they're worth, who can help us sell them, where do you want them to go, what is your legacy moving forward, how do you want these things to continue on, uh, to inspire new musicians and all of those details. Um, this again is an amazing testament to having a meaningful guitar collection. That's the thing I cover in in incredible detail in my course, Write Guitars Faster. What was amazing is I'm standing there with, with Miss Clark. Looking at these guitars, I knew who Clay is. I know what he values. I know what he cares about. I know what kind of music he wants to offer the world. It was an incredible experience. We should aim for the same thing. That people would know us, that they would know what we value, what we care about, who we are um, musically through our guitar collections. That doesn't happen by accident. If you want to figure out how to do that, how to aim your life towards a meaningful guitar collection, um, to live your life on purpose, Check out Right Guitars Faster. There's a link in the description down below. And uh, But yeah, so that's the wrap for this video. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about all of these guitars. What are they? What are they worth? What do they need? Uh, what repairs are going on? I'm gonna clean them up. I'm gonna restring them. There's one that is going to need some TLC that is beyond my skill set. And so you'll see uh, some friends you haven't seen in a while on this channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.